Hey, today's habitat tip is going to be talking about managing for something that can be a real common problem. Today we're looking at a CRP field that has invasive trees coming into it. That's no good for our grassland environment and we're going to give you a few tips on how to manage that. You know, invasive trees, you turn your back on these for like five years and you got yourself a real problem. But with a little bit of thoughtful management applied each year to something like this, we can take care of it. Here's some of the ways we can work on them. This field was managed this spring with a prescribed fire. Unfortunately, prescribed fire alone isn't going to control the volunteer trees as they produce suckers and regrow from the roots. Today we're using a couple of different techniques to control invasive trees in this grassland. Some of the most common invasive trees that we find in grasslands are red cedar, locust, or in this case, Siberian elm. To combat that, we're going to use a couple techniques today. The first one is what I like to call the old cut and dab technique. And we're either going to use a sharp hoe or a brush saw to cut the tree. And then we follow that up by applying a herbicide to the cut stump using a PVC kill stick. In a future habitat tip, we'll tell you how to build and use a PVC kill stick, so be watching for that. The other method that we're using today is a basal bark application of our herbicide, and you just use the PVC kill stick to apply the herbicide to about four to six inches of the lower part of the tree. The herbicide application that I've found to work best is by using Remedy Herbicide. And the combination is one part Remedy Herbicide to three parts dyed diesel. We mix them together, we put them into our PVC kill stick, and then we're ready to either apply them to the stump or in a basal bark treatment to the tree. And we have great results from this combination. I really like these techniques and I've had great results at controlling trees while still protecting the grasses and wildflowers that I want. Here's an example of a cut stump with a herbicide dabbed on it from this spring. Notice all the grasses and wildflowers around it that were unaffected by the herbicide. In this case, we actually have big blue stem growing right out of that stump. Now that's a perfect outcome. The invasive trees are being controlled and the grassland ecosystem is enhanced. Well, we've put a bunch of work into taking care of the invasive trees that have come into this grassland and now we have the form and the function of this grassland back where we want it for upland wildlife. So a little bit of management done every year and we don't have a big problem. Taking care of invasive trees, that's great habitat.